Hey guys, Dragon Witch here. And we're back with some Pokemon Legend Darkness. And uh, we just passed in and got, I think we got to Good Star. No, we're almost at Good Star. So I think we're going to have to do that next on Knock Finished area. I got to make some great balls and stuff too. We just beat Noble Electrode. There's a crafting thing here. We're probably gonna have to catch quite a few Pokemon to level up, so. Leaden Ball, an improved on the original Heavy Ball design. Ball that is too heavy to fly far, high or far, far, but it's highly effective if you manage to get an unsuspecting Pokemon. Hmm, what's this? Why this is the pokey she dog. If I ever saw one, please let me have a closer look. Amazing, just look how smoothly you carve these curves. Your attentive carving shows how you, you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength pattern. Not to mention, this Pokushi doll is perfectly balanced at a glance. Think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains up upright. Ooh. Thank you. I'm savored I savored your Pokushi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe and yet your Pokushi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokushi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Okay. We need a bunch of these. Hey, how's it going, Ethan Pullian? Did you get your uh, Alpha Shiny after? Spirit Tome yet, but I did get a shiny Alpha Shiny Hippodon. Oh, that's sick, dude. Hippodon's great. He's one of the ones I always used to use back when uh, we first came out in whatever gen it was. I'm not sure if I know what he looks like, Shiny. The only thing I got so far is a uh, shiny ambipom, a palm evolved. Yeah, dude, we got this cord. You can send links to in uh, in here. I don't have the mod turned on, the auto mod. But you can also join the Discord. That's what it's for.
Just let me know because when I'm streaming, it doesn't alert me. Like stream remote or something. That link should work. It's supposed to be a permanent link, but sometimes it expires. I think. Someone told me it expired anyway. Other people have been using it though, so. Discord website. Hold on, I'll get a. I'll get a. A new one. See if that one works. Oh, I gotta throw a poke fly at this one there. in general.
both of them. Yeah, you can send it in general. It's all good. Oh, it's very grass. Damn, they're all females. All the hair grasses that come grass. snow and then you see the snow on the clothes.
Now I can. This quillfish I got. I need to, uh. Should be battling with him so I can evolve him. I need to use Fire Brush 20 times. I'm at like over 10. Quillfish only listens to me sometimes. Natures or not, what I need. Um, let's probably kill him. Got those extra damage. Fire brush. 
walk around. You won't die. Makes sense. Now, oh, can this thing? No, he's dead. You checked the Pokédex on me. Seventeen, so I need three more. No, I can evolve them. I'm really curious what you've all been doing. I haven't seen it yet. Two turns and died to poison. Come on. Can't be that slow. Really strong style, I screwed myself. I had a catch in there at least.
know how much time it's about, so you know. I kind of like the stealth system. I can't wait to see the new one when the sequel comes out. Be something here. I can use fire poison, fire barrage. On. I keep getting fire barrage and poison jab mixed up in my brain. I should catch this luck trade because this thing give me a lot of experience. Yeah. Love your fans. Oh, he's paralyzed too. Now he has like a 2% chance to attack. Yeah, 
Yo, welcome back. Fuck. Nice. Trying to get some uh, mirror points. You up. Well, let's see how much experience I got for him so far, dude. I see you've caught eight Pokemon. I care report your finding. Come on, big money. No whammies. <laughs> Three, four hundred zenny. Shiny Electabuzz, it's time to evolve. Oh, I love Electabuzz. Electabuzz and Magmar were like probably my two favorites. I really like Charizard and uh, Mewtwo and stuff too. I'm a fire Pokemon type of guy. But if I had to use an electric type, it would be Electabuzz. Went to a darker yellow Electabeer with blue tail tips. That's pretty cool. You know, I, I, like, I, I can remember getting an Electabeer and a Magmortar. I think that's what his name is when he first came out, but I never like used them a whole lot. And I want to try, I'd like to try one. I should get him a game. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Tina. We cannot know if this is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinna drive the nobles to frenzy? I've got Shawnee, Electivir, and Magmortar. Oh, that's cool. Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? I can remember breeding Magbeast just trying to get um, like good stats on a Magmortar. Magmar. Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. It'd be cool if you could breed in this game. I'm not sure if you can or not. Maybe you can. And what is it that space-time rift anyway? What causes it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato moochie. Healing Perilous Heights. Mission complete. And we get the finest Bucci in town. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Why is he shaking? You gotta, you gotta eat apple or something. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things get grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous or at least less dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of this way so much. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust in. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Tim, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from, you're part of the Survey Corps at Jubilee Village now.
the next day. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation to today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation. I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hosoi, I feared what would become of us. And here we are, already preparing to quell the no final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug. Ooh, Avalug. Which lives in Alabaster, Iceland. Yo, I had to water my plants. Sorry, I'm late. No worries, bro. You didn't miss much. I, um... Uh, I went out catching Pokemon for, like, the first... 20 minutes or so. And then, uh... I just went and talked to Commander... Kermato. And he congratulated me on... Defeating the Electrode. And then he gave me the finest Moochie in town. <laughs> Mm, Tato Muchi, like always. And now he's saying that the next noble is the final noble, and it's Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster <clears throat> Icelands. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Aridia told me. The largest. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some changes in space-time rift as well. That's a hint. If I ever did see one, what's gonna happen next? Ablag may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of Alabaster Icelands. Until then. I might have to level up before I can even go there. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of men as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I almost, I think uh, Quillfish needs like two more barb Fire uh, barrages to level or evolve. Celine, yeah. What's going on? Celine's on the floor. Oh, it's a wormple. Abra, teleport this wormple outside at once. So you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hoshoi. If you intend to go, show me you're equal to the challenge by earning your fifth star. Witness Pokemon using moves in various styles. Catch Pokemon at different times. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank and aid with any requests that might be found on Professor's Blackboard. Talk to her, see how much progress I've made. I need 530 points. I need one more bar barrage to evolve quillfish. Okay. 
I think I'll go back to the other maps and I'm going to climb the mountains there because we haven't done that yet and also since we just beat a new Pokemon Noble I'm going to check the field to see if we can grow mint now so we can change the nature on things that would be cool looks like he's got a new request sure would love some help nice to meet you Mr. Survey Corps you got great timing as always <laughs> I want to make the field bigger you see but there's some boulders sitting right in the way. If you'd lend us a Pokemon that can smash them to pieces with Rock Smash, we'd be mighty grateful. Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know if I have a Pokemon with Rock Smash. I, actually, dude, I got Rotom. Do you think I should uh, do up Rotom? And we could, there's also um, the Swoy uh, Gudra. Okay, but how how do I change this form? And which form do I need? Is this the refrigerator form? Or the washing machine? That guy that I was just talking to? Water electric washing machine. Oh, water electric is pretty good. Does he sell an oven? I don't think he sells anything yet right now. I'll go check it out though. I also got a male hair cross. And I got a spoy Voltorb. Alright, um, we'll get rid of Garchomp. I'm gonna keep Empoleon, I'm gonna keep Typhlosion. Drifbloom's on the edge of leaving the team, <laughs> even though he's really good. There's just so many really good Pokemon. Do you think I should use this? Because I don't have a Grass type. Or an Electric type. Well, actually, I got Rotom now. He's fast as hell, though. A lot more Rotom is electric grass. Are they all good, or is the one that, like, I should go for? I think electric fire is really good. There's, like, no electric fire types in the game. That I can think of. Grass is what I need the most. Probably on this team. Yeah, fire sounds pretty good. And then go all special attack. I think the fridge is like a tank or something, isn't it? Um Someone here was Oh yeah, Stantler. I can also level. I can evolve Stantler. And he's psychic and normal. My mic was fucked up there. Dude. Psy Shield Bash. Raises the user's defense. That's pretty good. Let's just see if we can, I want to see if I'm going to keep Quillfish first. I 
I need to get rock smash for this guy. Maybe I think this guy sells stuff. No, he's the harvest guy. None of them have it. I think the name NPC's name is Ginter or something. Uh, there's a guy who sells stuff uh, once a day, and it's like special stuff. I'll show you. It's this guy over here. She's the regular one. And then he sells one. See, I got a special product in stock. A me medical, mechanical cabinet. Yours for 20,000. I don't even know what it does. I got an idea though. I know how to make some money. We're going to I think it turns room into fridge form. Uh, a row time. Gotcha. I mean, fridge form is pretty cool. Oh, he's electric. Star piece. Can always go and get another row time, probably. I don't know how rare they are. See, I just bought this for 10,000, but now I can think I can sell these for like a lot of money. I'm definitely gonna buy it. Whoa, sand radish. Once I have enough money here. So there, I already made 20,000. What else can I sell? I don't think I'm going to make any dire hits. They're 150 each. Its insides are packed with gears and machinery that serve some unclear purpose. But if you can solve this item's mysteries, your reward will surely be far greater than the price you paid for it today. Well then, I'll get this sent to your quarters. Free of charge, of course. Sent to my quarters? Have your quarters? Oh, I think it's outside. Yeah, it's like a separate place. Gotcha. It's not a one use thing, I'm guessing. Okay, nice fire except in her. Oh, it's right here. Your Rotan seems to want to investigate the refrigerator's motor. Will you let it? Yes. Choose a Rotan. Select. Rotan entered the motor. Nice. Proton's new form has changed. What moves it can use? Learn Blizzard. 
So let's just look at his everything. He weighs 0. 0.6 pounds, but he's 10 feet tall. Or 10 inches, I can't tell. As inches. Special attack up, attack down. Wow. Electric ice. I like that, because we don't have an ice type. So good. Especially with Hex. But I got to, because I need Thunderbolt. Or I could just get rid of Hex. Yeah, let's just get rid of Hex. Blizzard Thunder Wave, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. It's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> he takes his shoes off when he goes in. I need to go and use one bar brush. I keep I keep thinking about it. <laughs> oh, there's a mass toxic croak. Whatever they're called. Shiny toxic croak, Nani. I haven't even gotten to one of these mass things yet. I guess it's the same as uh, Scarlet. Quest took twice the line because he only listens like one third of the time. Alpha Spear Tome? Very nice. <laughs> Congratulations. So, does Alpha just give him new moves? Now here comes the fun part. Finding the shiny one. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. Got any techniques? Wait, no, I can't. I can use a bright brush. Yeah. Did it. And run away. Because I'll never be able to attack again. Did it. He used it twenty times. <laughs> I gotta look this up. Look man Oh, in strong style? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, we're not using Quillfish till I get the level, till I can control level 6.
Maybe it just needs to do strong style and fire brush. So it can be anything strong style. Man, this quillfish better have like amazing stats. To be fair, if I just catch a couple more Pokemon and get my fifth star, I'll be able to control him. And it'll be at least four times as easy. <laughs> oh, we should try a Rotom. Some of these uh, Pokemon and see what their challenges are. Defeat with ground attacks. That should be easy. Here's the score. Been shock, flying type attacks defeated. Number ka, okay. Catch him, defeat him with flying attack. Type moves in the flying type. Interesting. Yeah, 
these guys are also flying. Right? Okay. Well, I need a level anyway, so. Pops up on the top after you do it. So that's seven out of ten. I think this is 7 out of 10, so I need 3 more of these guys. 2 more. There's all kinds of food on the ground. From the kill and stuff. That's the full satchel. I need to put some stuff away. That's uh, 4 out of 4, nice. Let's check how much experience we got from that. Actually, let's. Everything's dead anyway. <laughs> Need to come back. Wait, what could this be in the tree? Ain't no Geo, dude. Oh, it's a uh, Wormadin. Please leave the kitchen. Oh, he must be Grand too. What is this creature? This core no. Ah, oh, she's bro time. Let it fall. We're gonna nine acorns from that. That was actually pretty good. All right, I'm losing like grit dust and everything. I gotta put some stuff away. in case probably already gone actually no still there nice it's a statue of a Pokemon but who could have made it in hell I don't know
I don't think Drifting has any flying type moves. Should have gave him some. I could use a wrist. Let's see what we got from what we did so far. Fifteen tasks complete, a hundred and eighty points. New species, a hundred. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta keep doing stuff like that. Type moves. Like I can keep running mid fight. These parasites are actually pretty good experience. Oh, psychic moves and ice type moves. So, Rotom time. He's only got Blizzard though. Oh, God. He's so fast. I'll destroy him. Oh, 
Hopefully it's only two. I'm not sure how many I have to get. Oh, he did not like cross poison. made it through the hypnosis through the less than 100% accuracy. We're so close to five star. Sorry, I was a sorry, I was AFK there for a bit. What did I miss? Um, so I'm trying to get five star, and I've just been catching like all the Pokemon around here and um, killing them with certain moves to get experience. So. Uh, I just got promoted. Let's go back to the village. I don't know if you've seen, I was trying to get Quillfish up and uh, you need to use strong style bar barrage. So I gave up with that because I need to get the five star to be able to control Quillfish. So I just focused on getting five star and we just hit it. I also switched my camera to this side so you can see my Pokemon's HP now. In a fight, I don't know if it's better or not. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Now we can go to the new area. With this, you have officially attained the rank of fifth star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Wing Balls. Pokemon up to level 65 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have this as well. It is a further recipe you will need for crafting. You've you obtain the recipe for crafting wing balls. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to raise higher in the ranks. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. I'm the only one, baby. You know the other 20 million players. <laughs> I bet you this guy's got a shop quest now. Wrong guy. This is. Please speak to Tawa Hua for me, would you? I imagine you'll have better luck if you bring him some crunchy salt as a gesture of goodwill. Perhaps three hunks to be safe. But for now, perhaps you'd like to buy something. Not four hunks. Not two hunks. Three hunks of salt. Did I say hunks and the hunks? Hunks of salt. Now two hunks. Hawk uh, is hon yeah, hunks. Two hunk hunk and hulk is like the same kind of word. I 
What am I trying to get here? Crunchy salt. There's some request posts on Blackboard. Which one will you check? The C's ledge. A report has been filed concerning a sighting of a mysterious Pokemon. Is it Dragonite? Ah, jolly good choice there, Sin. I see you've taken on that request I posted. Let me fill you in right away then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out from the shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilee, that would take it from all the way to the Cobalt Coastlands. This rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed here for some specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I was thinking that if we spoke with the good warden Iskan of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. I got your message, Professor Laventon. Oh, so uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards Cobalt Coastlands, yes? Well, uh, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the EC, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of this princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called the Sea's Legend. But no one knows much about either the tome or its tale beyond what I've just told you. So, uh, that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll, um... I'll just take my leave here then. Solve the mystery of the sea's legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Laventon saw. Could it be Lapras? Serpent the sea's currents. Uh, we have to we'll go to a new area, and then I'll just see if I can get close to evolved in the new area. So we're to make for the Alabaster Oysters. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene, but this avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog is as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help, they occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send out Sin out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place. Or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our, quell from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this, on of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. 
Professor Labton? Uh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a, a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Sin? Then we will support you in it. The best support we can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. Oh, I'm gonna win. I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Serbia Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Damn straight. Serbia Corps Akaria or Akari challenge you to battle. Oh, we're gonna get some barbrages in. Let's go. Oh, man, so fast. Look it up. Starting style barbrage. Oh, super effective? I didn't even know that. Why would Fire Barrage be super effective against Mr. Mime? Oh, because he's fairy now. Oh. Fairy's bad against poison. We're learning, chat. We're learning. Strong style. Fire Barrage, go. Oh, Quillfish is tearing her to pieces. Oh no, he's quick attack. Dick. Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh, he tore Quillfish's head off. Quillfish's head off. Um. She's blue square. Yup. What do you mean, yup? I forget what I said. There's something so natural about the sight of- Oh, Mr. Mean Fa Fairy, weak to poison, gotcha. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. Oh, look at that experience. Mm. Except for Quillfish. Guy who killed everything. Thought your mission in Iceland's. Well, it will be a challenge, but careful out there. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Iceland's forthwith. See you there, my boy. I'll just heal when I get there. Actually, they probably healed me. Alabaster Oislands. Now this is like home. <laughs> My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these Alabaster Oislands apart from Tua leading. Leading the odd supply core excursion to gather materials. I forgot to give them those salt tanks too. But the survey core, of course, it must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, or Ice Peak, where you'll find Avalog, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalog will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from the Iridia and Admin to try and keep yourself safe. Sin. Brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? Practically sweating. You think this is bad? Just You just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a diamond thing, or a pearl clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see the eye to eye on anything, will we? 
I don't see how we could as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty synod that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty synod. The sexual tension is unreal, yes. They should just get married already. What's going on? I can't click anything. Uh-oh. No, okay. Said to replug the controller in. <clears throat> yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my. I should read it like a sexual tension. We're headed to see my teacher. He's only ever found one place. <laughs> Which is. You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? <laughs> And I blogs legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said he he we'd be headed somewhere even colder. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Sin? Sure. Stop off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing by. See you at Avalog Legacy Sin. Take care on your way. Oh, it's a snow run. Oh, he ran away. I should have figured that. I should have figured. Apon? You see something? Oh no, where is he? Should be like at the bottom, basically, quillfish. What the hell? He's not even here. No, he's up here somewhere. Okay, I need a 15 strong style. A lot of ambi palms in this game, huh? Or e palms. They should be ambi palms because they're level 40. Ooh, we got a whiz. Gotta be something up here, Chad. You just got to get me.
<laughs> wait, should we climb up? Oh wait, there's a cave here. That's lucky. Crevasse passage. passage. I was gonna say passage. <laughs> Crevasse passage. <laughs> oh, it's baby avalogs. I forgot to make potions. Burden light. Oh, a strong one. Well, let me catch this one. <laughs> Goes like nowhere. Maybe if I do like Aqua Tail Agile style, I won't kill him. Maybe. Yeah. Now let's catch this baby iceberg. I think we're gonna need a six star at some point. Do we best get to uh, get experience now? Okay, seven out of eight, strong style. Wait, is it just bergamites in here? No, this is a passage. It needs to go definitely lead somewhere. Your way to get up there or something. Good thing I went down to the bottom. By accident. What is that over there? Is that Ice Peak Arena? Snow Point Temple. Temple, you say? Wow, this place is crazy. Oh, we can make some of these. Um... An improvement on the original feather ball design. A ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon and Pokemon that fly high in the air. He's keeping his guard up. He's going to run away. You know what? I'm going to run away. Where he does. Now I need to learn how to use like berries. Oh my god, it's pill spawn. It's wean up. <clears throat> I forget how you evolve those guys. He's one of my favorites though. I might have to get him. Hmm. 
Look, he's almost domesticated. I can walk right up to him. Level up all knowing ancient power. Man. I don't know what they're plan. <clears throat> well, I kind of do. First off, have you guys seen the leaks with the new game? A to Z? Legends or whatever it's called? AZ Legends? There's a supposed leak that happened last week. We don't even know if it's an actual leak or not yet. But there's a guy claiming a bunch of stuff. And there's some stuff they do know about the trailer. Like it's going to be set in the same place as black and white or something. Or X and Y, sorry. His eyes look hilarious. Oh, she's trying style. So, like, one of the supposed leaks um, is that you don't get to choose the starter Pokemon first, your rival does. Also, do you guys care if I say what they, what I heard? I don't know if you don't, don't want any uh, spoilers. I don't even know if they are spoilers at this point. Dude, Thunderbolt does 100 damage. Like, yeah. No, no, it does 80. Let's see if I can catch him with this. Catch the snow rent. I need to set up a base out here. Textures, guys. The game bugs it sometimes because I'm emulating. Got a wisp. Sorry, those things snowball. Hopefully they set up a base camp. I doubt it though. Who's this guy? Admin. Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done us. This gentleman is Avalog's warden, and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Garrick. G-A-E-R-I-C. Like Gaelic, but with an R. Garrick. So should... So show some respect, Admin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Sin, right? Of the Galaxy Team? Answer me this, would you? 
On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalok? Uh, I was commanded to. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Our mighty Lord Ablock has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalok's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak, wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that's what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Let's start. My mus musculature is as hard and yielding as ice. Think you can break through? Taclosion. Oh my god, I get two Pokemon at once. Crunch. Oh no. Frostlass and Glalie. Glalie. Come on, you're cheating, bro. Alright, alright. Uh, wait, he's got flash cannon. I can tear him apart. Oh, you're screwed now, boys. Say hello to my Imperion. Go, Imperion! Flash cannon. You did now. Oh, he's only level 24. <clears throat> this guy's this guy sucks. Or at least one who's Pokemon does. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smash me through and through. I suppose you can all get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. So May still have their doubt. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Sin, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice that he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need bravery. Long story short, you'll g you've got to seek out a young lady named Sa Savvy. Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalag one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. This eternal life stuff can be found atop Avalag's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneezer can climb these surfaces, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with bravery's help. Garrick's once managed to climb nearly to the top of Ablog's legacy, I'll have you know. He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might make <clears throat> might makes right, or at least height. <laughs> and uh about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with bravery, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi? Whoa, it's a swoy bravery. My clairvoyance told me that I'd, le I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you meant by Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems like you better focus on... Pursuing Warden Sabi, and let me focus on my workout while I still can. She's cheating, I can't climb up there.
Hello, my name is Sabi. Nice to meet you, Sin. Same to you. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want bravery's help so you can quell Avalog's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, bravery. Swoosh. She gone. Oh my god, she's so fast. Wait, can I... yep. That's fast, my fast trap. Quillfish is getting to the point where we're gonna evolve soon. Sneezler. The music. Hell yeah. I gotta learn how to use berries and stuff properly in this game. Sin, you made it all the way up here in this cold? But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught? Mm hmm? Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. Hmm. No one but me could really know, you know? Right? I mean... Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I really bored? Mm hmm? Let's go, bravery. Where's she going this time? Well, the view up here is crazy. Oh my god, she's a snow point temple now. That's definitely a base camp right there. That's gonna be our new destination. So, let's go. I thought he would survive it. Oh my god, I dropped all that stuff. Uh, let's make five of these. And then, of those. And then, I'd like to do some shopping. I get some super potions. Let's go level those. Let's dun, 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 dun. Another satchel for Ace and Polion to find for her mag for the Magmortors Magmorizer. Is that what's called that item? <laughs> you laughing at me, Paul? Huh? 
Ace got an alpha spear tome, some cat. <laughs> now, now they're going for the alpha, alpha shiny spear tome. I wonder, do they, like, when you, when you transfer that to another game? And have, uh, the special moves on? I came to set up another base camp, but I don't spy Craig from the Construction Corps. I told him to meet me near the base of the vault here in Alabaster Iceland, so where is he? He's not the type to worry, or he's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm honestly a bit worried. Do me a favor, would you find Craig for me? Craig! Where are you, Craig? Craig! I need Rock Smash, dude. I see these rocks everywhere and I don't <laughs> One of my Pokemon can learn Rock Smash, I know I can. I just can't... What? Infernal Parade? Do you use your attacks with a myriad of fireballs? This may also leave the target with burn. The moose power is doubled if it has a, star a status condition. Oh, so it's like Hex on crack. Okay. Overheat, nice. Very nice indeed. Let's see what Napoleon has. Double edge and hydro pump. We're gonna put that hydro pump on. Mm, it's the water pulse, I guess. And then drift them. Nope, we still got the same shit. Change moves. Nope, same stuff. Rotom, change moves. He has thunder. Let's put thunder on. It's, got, it's only got 75% accuracy though. But if you did it strong, strong, see this game is different, so let's just get rid of thunder weight for now. So I could try it thunder for a little while. Let's see if Quillfish. Oh, he got self destruct. Obviously, I have to get him self destruct. God. Uh, get rid of Poison Jab, probably. Self destruct. My little ace in the hole. You guys didn't see nothing. Doppel Bombings. Bug words. I should be killing these Caesars and stuff. Good spot for Razor Fangs. How strong a strong style self destruct is. Oh, it's a baby bravery. We gotta get to a rufflet. Um, jeez, how am I not gonna go in here? Agile style octail. So, okay. We gotta catch him fast. Wing ball. I wonder if I can just evolve him. Probably not. I've been 
bet you he's really good. What's his typing now? I wonder. That is apricots galore around here. <laughs> Chingley. Did they ever make that Pokemon good after? You didn't die to poison. I'm actually getting uh, challenges done for beating them with dark moves too. Oh, I'm about to use strong stuff. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I was going to have to fight all three of them for a second there. One of them, one of the questions was, what's his why bravery is typing? I guess he was normal flying before, right? Psychic flying. Really? Now that's cool. You must have introduced these types to like counter fairy and stuff probably. Well, I guess psychic is not a counter fairy, but probably are. The quillfish dark poison. He's probably pretty good against fairies. Ah, Gensin. Nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun with you, or am I bored, hmm? <laughs> I heard what Warden Sabi said. <clears throat> Sabi said, if you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone structure statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern on their chest, too. Alright, 
I'm going in, boys. Wait, I can't evolve them yet, no. Times you've seen Strong Style move 15. Then how come I don't have the 8 challenge yet? Problem is, I don't have any PP left. There's faint traces of an ice pattern on the statue's chest. Well, he actually hit me with overheat, knocked me down. That's hilarious. There are faint traces of a steel pattern in the statue's chest. Okay, so the way they're facing and their tight symbol. So steel is facing steel. Got ice facing ice. Main traces of a rock type. Okay, so rock facing rock. This is like a Rogigas puzzle. I've seen these somewhere before in a cave. Let's try going upstairs and see what's up there. Oh my god, there's a downstairs too. Really is a temple. Okay, never mind. Can't go downstairs yet. something else facing towards something else. Rock. And then ice. No, a steel. Investigate. There are three panels fitted into the door. Each panel has a pa pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of words carved carved on the door as well. Wither the statue's gaze. Which panel will you press first? So it's like, it's rock, steel, ice, right? Rock, steel, ice. You press the panels. So we got ice, rock, steel. And then I can't see what that one is. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. There are faint traces of words carved into a withered statue's gaze. Voice, rock, steel. Voice, rock, steel. Rock, ice. Boom. <clears throat> 
Onward. Um, Nicole, geez, this one's gonna be hard. Rock. Ice. Steel. Rock. But I think I screwed it up. I have to start from this one. Nope. This one. So it's actually steel. Ice. Rock. Ice. Steel. Rock. I'm not going to remember that. Hold on, I got this. The first one is steel, right? Steel. Okay. Steel. Ice. Rock. Steel. Ice. Rock. Oh my god, there's this one too? Oh, this is. No, this one. Okay. That's a different room. Steel. Ice rock. Ice. Steel. Rock. So steel, ice rock. Ice, steel rock. Steel. Ice. Rock. Then it was. Ice, rock, steel. Ah, oh, screwed it up. The last three I got wrong. I know it's steel, ice, rock, and then it's what? Ice, steel, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Ice, steel, rock. Ice, steel, rock, and then it was ice, rock, steel, isn't it? It's definitely ice, rock, steel. First three. No, steel, ice, rock. I gotta write this down. Steel, ice, rock. Screw this memory stuff. Ice. Ice, steel, rock. Because I might have put it in right, but I was wrong. Might not be the right answer. Steel. Ice. Rock. Ice. Steel. Rock. There we go. I guess my memory stops at like five. <laughs> oh, it's a Ralts. Oh my god. Better. Uh, I don't know what to use again. Too. Level 70 Glade, my god. Infernal Parade. Oh my god, he's got close to here. He's got the... The spell from Elden Ring. Ancient Death Rancor. Um, two liquidation, that's not going to go. Perfect. Close combat, she won't kill me though. Now we're going Driftblim. 
Strong style hypnosis into the Pokeball. All goes well. Great ball, it might be better than a wing ball. I don't know. This is bad. He's gonna wake up soon. Get in that Pokeball. This. Oh, he slapped through two moves. That was close. This might be my last chance. Oh no. He's enraged. Time. Go wing ball. No way. You have to kill it soon. What's the catch rate on this thing, man? Yes! Calculate. That was close. That's why we bought these. Probably shouldn't even waste them. Probably gonna get healed up here. Let's use, uh... Okay. I think. Might be a boy. We're gonna have to fight her now, aren't I? Maybe not the Guard of Wars fairy type now too, yeah. She's so good now, I bet. I guess I've been cat, so we're nearly done. 
That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with bravery. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Now get ready, cause here come Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivir. All three of them go. No way, at the same time? Okay, one at a time. Okay, never mind, all at once. Well, we all knew this was coming someday. Go self destruct! <laughs> oh, he survived it! What a god! Hell yeah, baby! Now... Can't use him because Electabuzz buzz. Cool. If I could take an Electabuzz fast with Empoleon... Actually, let me just take it right here. here. We'll tank Electabuzz. Maybe. Oh, he had a fighting move up his sleeve. This could be really bad. Secret weapon revived. <laughs> oh god, thunder wave. Okay, that's not so bad. Strong style. My worst power. Ooh. Dude, I'm a ghost. How'd you even hit me with that? I thought a high horsepower was fighting. Alright, alright. Still just drew it up. <laughs> right here, you're, they're only level 20. Rhyperior is the only hard one here. It's a ground type. Okay, so maybe he won't be able to hit me with it. I gotta think about this. So, Empoleon's gonna get one shot at. What about Gliscor? He's immune to ground. But he's not immune to rock. I think my only hope is the quillfish, right? I knew he was going down. Man, it appears good against every one of your Pokemon. Yeah, I know. That's why I went to grass type. Um. We got Aqua Tail up our sleeve. Quillfish. Oh, please, God. No, Quillfish. I thought she was going to revive us. I should have just. Uh... Oh, they're all revived. Okay, never mind. She's screwed now. This time I'm going to go straight for Rhyperior. I was going to say, I should have revived her in the first revived all my Pokemon, but now I'm glad I didn't. Okay, we don't need to self-destruct on these guys. Even though that was funny as hell. We're going to use Pocket Tail instead. Critical. No, it wasn't even critical. How did it never hit? That's so bullshit, man. 
Your head defense and stands off for some. Moves do varying amounts of damage. Why? There's like a 10% variance in damage just naturally. I didn't know that. I think Empoleon can take both of them. Just gotta outspeed. And actually hit him. Now yeah, Magma is screwed. We're going to do 100% liquidation. Battle decided. Big XP. Big XP. Well, you caught us and beat us. You've won all of our games so far. But bravery still wants to get you know you know you even better. Up to the roof we go. I got a feeling we're gonna have to kill this bravery. Or something like that. But it she probably just means that I have to play the flute for it, which is nothing. We'll see. Grok, grok. All right, bravery. Why not test out Sin's strength for yourself? Go, quillfish. I did have to fight him. Dying style Dark Ball. Let's do that, bravery. Move mastered. I wonder if that's self destruct that he mastered. Grr, I can't believe bravery lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. I guess I'll head home now. Bye. Hey, wait. I was kidding. Play along with me on your fuse flute. <laughs> I wonder if I like a real flute. Bravery opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the sky plate from bravery. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of flight. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the flying to. Thanks, Sabby. Sure, having Sin to fly around with should be fun for bravery. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where po people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes out from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is all, all almighty Sinas anger, or do you think this is a trial it's putting up to us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble, calm Avalog, then the rift really ought to close, right? 
Welcome back, Ace and Polio. Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, we're just getting our flying mount. Not one of us who have been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Sabi. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinaf myself. The question is, does listening to Adamant fascinate you or bore you to tears? Hmm? <laughs> Anyways, Tin, it's time for you to go soar with bravery. If you jump from way up here, bravery can take you gliding just about anywhere. Oh, it's a gliding mechanic. But don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you need bravery in the first place, right? Avalog's legacy is down there. Now, go get a feel for flying with bravery. When you're done swearing skies and want to land, just ask them to dive. They can call bravery and glide through the air with them. With bravery, you can fly high up in the sky and explore the different areas of Hussoi from the air. You can summon bravery with pressing the plus button. You may be, and can also press the A button if you're flying from the sky, wherever you may be. And you can also press the A button if you're flying from somewhere, some height to summon him in flash. Some height, you say? <laughs> I need to get the other base camp open too. I have no idea where they call it. It might be right there actually. Oh, the slumbering lord of the thunder. I guess we'll go straight for Avalog. But how do I dive? Dude, this quillfish is never gonna evolve. Okay, that's B. How do I go down? Why is down? That's pretty cool, actually. I like this flying. Investigate. Did you get your uh, <clears throat> you get your shiny after? Or you uh, you weren't even trying? You obtained a piece of eternal ice. Type of ice beloved by Lord of the Tundra Avalog. No, sadly, no spirit tone. You'll get them, I'm sure. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalog that lived long ago. Wahaha. At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained an eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Garrick the eternal ice. I do have to respect the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalog. Please meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. Oh yeah, glad now, baby. What the hell is that? A hole in the ice? 
Oh, bomb the snows down there. We can get Magnezone now, baby. Why, if it isn't sin, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Ice Lands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avlock. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. And why wouldn't you be? So Avlog, yes? The fifth of Swoy's nobles. That he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes. According to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avlog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward to the arena. So, Avalog was ice before. Just ice, wasn't he? What is he now? Hmm, yes, well, I didn't, didn't want to see Avalog, but perhaps not at any cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Whoa, how did I do that? Oh, it's my champ. I think I can take on the Machamp. I should probably do this first. So if we were to quell Avlog, as you wished, in the end, the strength of your feelings won't won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you, and you know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. This should be interesting. Golden, golden epilog. Oh, damn, indeed. It's so bright. I got my gamma turned up too high. I was playing a different game. Oh, three of them. Oh. Oh, I pressed dodge, but... Get up! No! Oh, it's over. I'm 
parallel dodging abilities. Activate. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I gotta stop throwing when uh, he's using his abilities. While Abrolog's barrage of attack is going, concentrate on dodging and wait for your chance to strike back. The powerful beam that Abrolog launches with his ma can be evaded with the Y button if you use your brief window of invulnerability to dodge straight through it. Okay, wait now, let me turn off my uh, gamma. Turn it down a little bit because it's like literally blinding me. Everything's so white there. I was playing Dungeonborn, and you can't even see without Gamma turned up. <laughs> Hardly. Okay, that's a little better. Still pretty bright, though. You guys can't see it, because it's only on my screen. It should look the same to you. What type is he? I have no idea. Fire and dark? Oh my god, it's he's not super he's not bad against it. He must be ice and water. Dragon style flame thrower. Hey Aorta, how's it going? How's everyone doing? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Hey, how goes the progress on Home Monos? We're on uh, Avalog here. Oh. The last Pokemon Noble. Yeah. <laughs> They're fun. Apparently this guy's pretty rough. He has a lot of abilities. I have to dodge. That was your stream. Oh. I gotta be careful here. After I finished that last battle with him, I should have uh, been throwing bombs at him. Here's your chance, show your power. I should use strong style, hopefully that's enough. Nope. We survived it. Trying style, just in case. It was good, I was doing tests. Blue screen of death three times in a row, see if it was fixed. Looks like it did, it's very nice. Yeah, that's the worst, man, getting blue screens and stuff. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm glad you got it sorted. Doing two at once. I haven't gotten this far before. <laughs> oh, he leaves it on the ground for a bit. Out of time! 
You gotta be like right on those buttons. I think after this we have a chance to fight him again. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. No! I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance. Nope. <laughs> I think I can do it the last battle, so I just gotta take my time. I had the USB update my BIOS and my RAID controller gotcha. I had to do that too when I got, uh, for my CPU I had to update my BIOS. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, he hit me at the first time, for sure. I did it! I thought he killed me. Whew. That was close. He looks awesome in this game. The Hawaii version. You played the other next-gen Pokemon, right? Like Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, I played Scarlet and Violet. I haven't done the DLC yet. It was really good, though. <clears throat> this one is way funner, in my opinion. Yeah, the story seems like, uh... Way, like... Um... It's like, well, it's way harder, obviously, but it's like more, uh... More going on. More adventure, right? Gameplay, story, and just overall things that can be done, yeah. Definitely. Scarlet had some performance issues and stuff too, I think. This game runs pretty good. I was reading an article there saying that um, the, for the new one, A to Z Legends, they're going to make it like a more... Uh, Scarlet ran a 7 FPS, he laughed my ass up, yeah. It definitely did. They said they're going to make a more detailed world and stuff, because uh, the biggest the biggest problem people had was the world was a little uh, drab and stuff. So I think if they sorted those little problems that this game had, it could be like 10 out of 10. Yeah, I only want to play the Legends games from here on out. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can make that commitment because I'm obsessed with Pokemon, but yeah, I, uh, I def I'm definitely going to play A to Z Legends. I'm going to stream it too. It should be fun. But seeing mighty Avalag quelled, and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Sin Boy some kind of monster in disguise? <laughs> some kind of monster? He's no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Sin. Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all of his heart and believes in Almighty Sinath just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinath. But that will change. Iridia? I know your fears will change once you see what I've said, seen. Sin has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Iridia. What game were you uh, streaming? I knew you could pull it off. Was it still uh, Fallout 4? You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? Just a little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. It's called Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Oh, I started playing that game, I haven't finished it yet. It was pretty cool though. The story seems really good. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, Things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more than a strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we got sin. Story's great, yeah, it's a pretty great, pretty great, pretty game. 
yeah, the game is really good graphics. Is it Unreal Engine 5? Indeed, we, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Rydia? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinaf, but you, Pearl, Can Pearl Clan Float Folk, aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pray pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he's finally he'll finally crack a smile for us. Yeah, I think it's you you five, yeah. I love Unreal Engine 5. Ah, uh, we gotta go back to town now. I haven't seen like uh, I've only seen the beginning of the game, so but I'd like to see it work, like how it develops and stuff. I bet it gets really fun. It gave me some Witcher vibes, actually. Let's see, did we level? I did it. One fourth of the way. You managed to quell Lord Avalog. Fantastic stuff, as always. I'm sure the commander is all is eagerly awaiting a report to the village. We're gonna do some village quests too and upgrade this place. I gotta get the rock smash to uh, the field hand so I can uh, start growing some more crops. That's another thing, like the crafting system and the growing crops and all that stuff is really cool in this game. I, the only thing I missed was breeding, and I think there should be more trainers in the world. Like when you're running around, you run into trainers. Is the soundtrack pretty good on this game? It's been a long time since I played it. Uh, I'm guessing it's the it's probably like the Japanese orchestra, so it's really good. <laughs> it's it's got like a lot of like tracks that are like like this track right here sounds almost Zelda, -y. and I love that kind of music, right? Actually, this is Dragon Questy. If you listen to it with the trumpet and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no trainer because the Pokemon are like wild animals and everyone is scared since no one is a trainer yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Weird that there's no breeding since there's like a farm of Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. You should be able to breed them in there. Did you see the trailer for the new game, AZ Legends? Apparently, the what it showed in the trailer is going to be uh, the same city as X and Y. So A and Z Legends are going to take place in the same city as... Same region as X and Y, in theory. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Snow White Ulpix in the snow. Kieka, a security corps fellow from Aloha, has several Ulpix, but he calls them QQ. <laughs> Track them down and see what his request entails. Cool, I saw a sneak peek, but I don't know if it's the old one. They did, um... I'm not sure if there was one at Gamescom or something, I think. Or Nintendo Direct, sorry. I think. I watched so many that week that I don't even remember. Oh, this guy's got a quest. If it isn't one of our beloved customers, might I trouble you to help me with a little survey work? In my family, we've always passed down tales of some ancestor that lived in a village around the an avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find a hint of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true, but everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out, see if you can find any evidence people ever lived around the avalanche slopes. Traces of a lost village. 
Okay, I gotta give this guy salt. I don't know if I lost it though. Oh, if it isn't Serbia Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles, has Choi sent you the, to do the negotiating for him again? You're looking a little perplexed, wondering why this old man gets so stubborn overselling the shopkeeper a few things? Well, maybe I'll tell you if you bring me three hunks of crunchy salt first. Brad, what I asked for already, no less than I expected of you. Wish I could pursue you to join my corps. Persuade you. Now, then, would you let me have three hunks of that crunchy salt? Sure. You handed over hunks of crunchy salt. Ah, crunchy salt. The Cornet Highlands' finest feature. If you see it in the wild, don't pass it up. Pass it over as it is just another rock. This translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. They've got to break it up with a hammer, then get the chunks in a mortar and crunch them right up, grind them into powder. Mix that powder with another ingredient and pack the mix together and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. Well, I can I can't send you back to Choi a failure since you so kindly brought me this crunchy salt. Tell him I'll set him up with some new wares. Oh, and I forgot. You wanted to know what happened between me and Choi? Well, that whelp made off of my dearest treasure. I'll never let him live it down. Got new stuff in the shop now. And uh, I probably have another quest for more stuff in the shop. Because <laughs> I was supposed to do that one last before I'd beat that guy, Avalog. I still can't evolve Quillfish, it's crazy. Get anything else from me? No. Ah, uh, okay, this guy. This is Joy. You got good new, new goods in stock thanks to you, and you seem troubled. Is something the matter? Tuahua told me. Ah, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it. <clears throat> but the story is not so simple. Please believe for me now that is nothing. Please believe me for now that is nothing you ought to worry about. Given what a fine customer you are, I imagine I'll end up giving you the full story at some point. In any case, we've got excellent new items in our shelves. Do buy some. New items added to general store. Okay, so we got all kinds of stuff here now. <laughs> I haven't even used the lure yet. I know what I need to do next. I need to get a Pokemon with Rock Smash and give it to that guy. Change moves. Dude, there's one Pokemon I was using for forever that had Rock Smash. And I never ever learned, gave it to him. Maybe it's Ambipom. Wait, let's get a random Apom. Ain't no way, I had so many Apoms. What happened to him, huh? Maybe Glycor can learn it. Wait. I might have to teach it to him, but uh, there's a missus up here to teach his moves. Hey, this guy's over here now. Ingo. I think that's his name, Ingo. I must tell you, Sin, journeying with you has given me a new ambition. I wish to make the joys of battling Pokemon more widely known in this world. I can call someone for you to battle if you would like. Who would I conduct here for you? We can battle people? Wenton. 
cool. Whoa, woo, the prospect of battling someone with your talent has me shaking, but feeling honored as well. The sir, security corps went and challenged you to a battle. What level is he under? Fifty-five. Uh, trying to stop me over. What else we got here? Astronaut. Oh my god, he's fast. Ooh. Okay, what do we got for Gastrodon? She's in full, yeah. I need a grass type so bad. Oh, he's good against steel. Oh no. Alright, do the hydrocarbon. That's okay though. I got six, he's only got three. Yeah, let's go row time and then go. He's probably gonna one shot me though, see how it speeds me. Agile style? I'm good, we're good. Control TM. Oh my god, he's so fast. Yeah, okay, let's go with uh, Square. There's a good chance he has no counter to me. Still hurts though. What do I get for doing this? Your Pokemon are simply unstoppable. Ooh, a ton of experience. Your con your consummate ba your consummate battling has taught me what truly matters. It's not winning or losing. It's working in harmony with your Pokemon. Okay, cool. Let me finish doing this first. I'm probably gonna have to heal up too. I don't know if it auto heals me or not. Uh, rock smash. Give it to Glagger. Yeah. I probably should give it to him too. And then change it out whenever I need it. Because there is places in this game where you need Rock Smash to go any further. I've just been climbing over on this easel. <laughs> For the most part. Alright, this guy wanted a Pokemon with Rock Smash. Oh, I gotta actually teach it to him. Like he knows it, but now it's not on this list of moves. I think it's this one, that's not right. Yep. Uh, we'll get rid of Slash, I guess. I can use them anyway, really. I think this will unlock mints for us. The ability to harvest mints.
is. Pokemon sure will be a help in expanding the field as much as we'll get started. Wowie, your Pokemon pulverized those pesky boulders like they were yesterday's gravel. Now, I'm all pumped up. Sit back, old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. <laughs> oh, my phone died. Let me plug this in, guys. And I'm all done. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give us a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon and do some rock smash. If I talk to him, I wonder how much it is to start a mint harvest. Apparently even Pokemon has some flavors they prefer over others though. I suppose, I suppose that's probably true for all living things. Here, to grow some crops, are you? No way to tell how the yield will be, but we'll give it our all. What kind of harvest are you interested in? Mint, we did it. The mint harvest, it'll be 10,000 zenny for that one, how about it? Gotta go sell some stuff. There's some more requests around too. It's covered in leaves, not a rock in sight. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with the cloak made of leaves. No, no, Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock, I'm quite sure of it. Ah, uh, if I ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Ah, uh, this conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon? I'm going to ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Hoshoi, and I've seen them back in my own region too. And guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my. You must have gotten so confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you. We're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which of us is right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burmy. Catch one and show it to us, will you? Uh, I think I have one. No, this isn't the Burmy I'm familiar with. Burmese Pokemon with cloak made of leaves. Once these two see it, they'll have it to admit I was right, right all along. Why come and let me choose it? Oh. I guess I don't have the right Burmy. Oh, what's this guy want? What a tail. We need to go to the rift and see what's in there. Ah, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with not but its tail poking out. But it was a tale I'd give anything to see again. Think you could catch a Pokemon I'm talking about? It was a tail. It was elegant and squirrely like a spring. Come, show it to me after you catch it, and I'll give you a nice reward. That must be Glam Meow, or whatever the name is. Oh my god, you can show him any Pokemon. Uh, I don't even know if I caught one of those Glamias. Oh, that's good. Yes, this is it. It's just as I remember the elegant sway of its tail, the charming spiral shape, and the enchanting way it bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable. Meow. <coughs> ah, its little meow is adorable as well. Have you gotten attached to me there, kitty? Oh, the dilemma. Pokemon are scary, but maybe this little and I will get along just... Ah, the darn thing scratched me. <laughs> I guess I gotta look carried away there. Thanks for showing me your glam now, anyway. Its tail at least was a joy to see. One day, when I find the Pokemon with the perfect tail for me, I'd like to become fast friends with it, just like you and your partner, Pokemon. Alright. Oh, I gotta report to the commander. What a freak, yeah. He a monster.
I thought I already reported to the commander, but I guess I didn't. My bad, guys. I'd say he's going to tell me to go somewhere, and then I'm going to have to level up to get there. I'll probably go back to the other areas and then explore them, the places I couldn't get to before. Each of the Pokemon's nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has become quelled. We still have no explanation as to why this calamity befell us, but I am glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace will be restored to this boy by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn Helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be available, or be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the Survey Corps' work is not over, and it does not end until our people can live here in Hisoi without fearing the Pokemon around us. Cool. It ain't over yet, baby. Oh, potato moochie time. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of potato moochie. Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd like, you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Going to go lay down. Good luck, dude. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, dude. Thanks for the raid and thanks for chat. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys. See you uh, next time. Yeah. Yes, sir. See you later. All right. See ya. Now it's time we focused on our survey work. Though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might be, might have been under attack by some frenzied noble at this very moment if Sin hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder, though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Sin stranded here? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village soon. Now then, tomorrow soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. That's right, we'll get it done. The Sin in the lead, and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant? Come on now, Kari, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Wonder what's next. Bakum. Something's happening. Disaster looming. Sin. getting bigger, I think.
Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gotten red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. What's happening? Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous. Indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us all here to discuss the quelling of the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Plevor into a frenzy. It struck that night that Sen fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Sin? I don't really know. Indeed. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to the frenzies, are you not? Do you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Sin has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make this all happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he's free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he, he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is, it, how is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Sin supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate the light latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy Team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in sin? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I will not forgive... For I have not forgotten your deeds, nor your unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clasp you in chains. I knew he was going to be evil. I got a feeling he's a bad guy. You're to be expelled from the village? But he might not be. We might gain his trust back. What? Why? Orders are orders. Because either this is in the past, or this is a parallel universe where Galaxy Team is good. Because in Diamond and Pearl, they're bad, right? This way. She's forcing me to leave. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Scary. Are they looking at the sky or me? <laughs> Can it really be true? Oh, the walk of shame. How could anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. Oh, the shame! <sighs> we can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should pers personally escort him from the village and to the fieldman's camp. I'll always see him 
I'll also see him off. Uh, as will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for Fieldland's camp. Safe travels. So what do I live in camps now? What am I, a camp folk? A vagrant? <laughs> I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on your own orders when you were quelled, when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You only cause sin more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Admin or Iridia might take you in. Though, I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you can try and go find Leon first. He's likely to be in the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I'll ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander's asked has to with. I might offer you advice. In this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How often? How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokédex? That dream simply won't come true without you. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Take that out. Uh, where is Liam? Oh, he's in the arena. Rancher Arena's down here. Can't see it because I was over it, but. You, what in the world did you do? <laughs> Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring out from it, all the Pokemon in Hasoi could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was a disaster. I need help. Help? Ah, uh, well, that's not exactly something I can do. That's not... That's not... It's not that I wouldn't like to help you. But I would put Iridia in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Pesoy, there is a place for you as well. Oh, yeah. That's cool, you can glide anywhere. I thought you had to jump off of something. But I guess not. Math is awesome. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought you. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. 
You can't return to a village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The great weird deer took a liking to you. I wanted to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. <clears throat> Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to walk or to find a path to walk. Hold on here, guys. Start my phone up. Grr. Ah, it's, it's uh, Lexio. Or Shinx, actually. That's Luxia. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? It's Milo. Volo. Found you at last, Sin. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. <clears throat> it seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team Galaxy team treated you? But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hosoi region where you can stash where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be a perfect hideaway. Leave it up to me. Jeez, how much did I miss? Second, guys. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no plate palace, but you know, it's saying about baggers and choosers. Oh, dude, this is a sick little camp. What are you talking about, Polo? You're living better than all these people. Shirking your work to come pester me again. Even even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kobita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hosoi's myths and legends. No mistress? Thank you. Just Kobita. And this is? Watson is the manor, man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, last one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill your duty at long last, thanks to you. I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Last one? Indeed, I am to guide you, last one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Pretend to say. <laughs> I'd live in that. Just needs a kitchen. And a bathroom. The space-time rift is said to be... A portal to innumerable other dimensions. And one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. The Diamond Clan's broke. 
In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sina. The Diamond Clans? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we thread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, compromising all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, last one. Here's what you must do. This way holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. I remember those lakes. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you will receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind to the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words, words, and what they bind us, or what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know, and regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the location of three lakes marked on your arc phone. Cool. Miss Kogita got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'd ha be happy to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that, indeed? Abba. It's like an Abra. What was that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. I'm going to say a Silena with her Abra. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Sin. Wait, is there anything in here? I highly doubt it. What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? Ah, uh, and it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Sin. Take a closer look at the letter. To Sin, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you will be able to utilize our base camps without issue. Base camp. Oh, okay. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Celine. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. That's right. Now then, so we're to visit Three Lakes? It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a cons consummate guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping a close eye on the nobles too. It seems our, all's quiet for the moment. So And so here we are. But still, we'll never get a, away with, opening, with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the Commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, 
so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Choose who will help you, Admin or Iridia. Uh, if you're gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna pick you. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that celestial flute in the first place? That's right, the strapping young man. Let me think it over. Of course, you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleavor. You and I made the, his bombs together. Yeah, I choose you. Ah, you finally got kicked there. Yes, I did. Just what I would expect of you, Sin. Doesn't matter who I choose here. Aridia versus Adamant. You made the right choice and you won't regret it. Because I just chose Aridia. So then, depends on what you want to encounter first. Okay, so I don't know the difference, so I guess it doesn't matter. As long as I don't get locked out of content by choosing one or the other. So then, the leftover leader will... Left over? Think again. Sin trusts me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I so I can let you all know if anything happens. If you want me to say, I will. Ah, just leave it a surprise. I'll figure it out. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on details as we go. Good choice, it's kind of spoilers. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hosoi region three Great Lakes to visit first. But yes, we should keep moving. Or get moving. I'd rather we walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at, which, at whichever lake we choose. Alright, Aridia, you and Sin. Well, you two do what needs doing. Trial of Lake Valor. Trial of Lake Acuity. Okay, we're gonna head to Lake Valor first. Uh, let's see if I can put some stuff away. So maybe this is Act 2? Or, <laughs> or what people call Act 2? This is what I would call Act 2. Where will we go? Uh, Trial of Lake Verde. Wait. Here to Lake Valor. Obsidian Fields, okay. Is that the right one? Does it matter? Alright, we'll do it in order. It's this one first. I'm going to take a little break. I'll be back in five minutes. Won't be long.
Let's see here. Do you wish to return to the ancient retreat? No. Um, let me do some shopping. Oh my god, these are 340 each. Well, they're 320, sure. I wonder if I could have caught Magnazone with this. <sighs> now that I think about it. Pokey tax? What's Pokey tax? Oh, because it costs so much. <laughs> I was thinking, like, is that like Pokey Russ? <laughs> so some of these places I haven't even seen yet. Like up here. I don't even think I've been up here yet. Math flew in my room. Flew in through my window. So far he's just chilling on the lamp, so I'm gonna leave him alone, but can I go any further? He keeps flying at me, so I'm uh, I might have to release him back outside. So I've been trying to, jeez, my mic is high. I've been trying to um, evolve Quillfish, and I used Bar Barrage 20 times, not realizing I needed to use Strong Style Bar Barrage 20 times. But I don't. Th I think you just need to use the Strong Style and Bar Barrage 20 times. Um. Do I have to use strong style bar brush or any strong style to evolve in? It is protected by a Pokemon called Miss Spirit. Oh my god, Miss Spirit? It was when Miss Spirit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Go off what Google says, okay. Your arc phone is beeping. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. <laughs> Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? What surprises with wait within, I wonder? Mistress Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Uh, maybe I should evolve my Quillfish before I go in there then. <laughs> it shouldn't even take that long. Because if it's well, it's just strong style. I'll just use fire brow and strong style just in case. Things are all speedy and safe stuff. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh, he's dead. Holy shit. I guess it doesn't matter for experience. Now I should catch that Gyarados and take a monster. I already have one, but not that level. Also, do wing like which which has higher catch rate? A leaden ball, uh, like a feather ball, or like a great ball? What should I be using here? Or wing ball or whatever? Like, does is this better than this? Is it better than this? I'm just going by order I, I earned them. <laughs> Use the. Uh, I'm gonna check the Pokédex decks here. So if it was 20 times strong style any move, I only have to do it one more time. So we're gonna see now. Once and for all. If he doesn't kill me. Well, he's gonna kill me, but. Shouldn't matter, so I keep all the outside the battle. Take that gear dose. So, for the record, it is not times you've seen it use strong style moves 20 times. For some reason it's not checked out though, I don't know why. Which is weird. It must be strong style bar barrages. Specifically. Oh, I'm getting that. Because <clears throat> I'm I'm soon gonna replace them with a grass type.
Listen to what I'm saying now. I'm gonna try to rush through this and then do a spirit fight. It's 26 and still not checked off 20. Maybe I have to pass it and then we get checked off. And then you leave off. Alpha Gyarados. I don't think we fuck with that. <laughs> that was a grass type shot. Actually, Rotom could probably destroy him. How hard is it to get back here? Here, restore PP. We're going to have to wait then. To evolve money. The air feels somehow tense in here. Oh my god. I want to catch him really bad. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quell to Soy's nobles. You can handle any battle sin. <laughs> I don't know about this condition. Uh, let's bring Napoleon back. And. Can you love? The question is, can I catch this thing? And how fast can Rotom kill it? Oh. <laughs> Get back to it. Ooh. Alpha Gucha spilled in. Might. Defense stats were raised. Gujra became obscured. Now, I can catch this one. The other one I seem to level 70, who's is way harder to catch. But am I gonna one shot him? This is not super effective. Okay. So I'm just better off going with No no we'll go with Blizzard. Grass bite, nice. Iron tail. Uh 
try and pull down. Because that's the effectiveness of that. Could be really bad, really quick. Obscured part. Case you get to crit or something. Now I'm gonna risk. Killing him with a crit. Okay. Use the shelter as soon as the stats go down. Crazy. I can only throw like one Pokemon in between Roost. One good Pokemon escape from the ball. These Dragon Balls. Trying to just Catch. 
Hope we gotta run out. Man, when am I gonna get ultra ball? <laughs> He's a struggle. Oh my god, it does more damage. Oh, he killed himself! <laughs> I needed that catching the lake trio uh, I was going to try to but I think I'm out of uh, pokeballs now just trying to catch that Gudra the swine Gudra I'm going to have to go back out and make some but yeah we're going we're gonna to catch him that's where that's the part of the game we're at it's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. <laughs> okay, uh... See, I only got this left now. I think you're gonna have to withdraw and come back real quick. Yeah, I just got kicked out of the village. This is my first playthrough. <laughs> Game is sick so far. I can't believe it took me this long to play it. Um, let's see what we can craft first. <laughs> I don't have enough money. <clears throat> Hopefully, that's enough to catch him. Well, might as well enjoy the red sky for the end of the world. Yeah, dude. It's almost like a force field. Do you see that? It's crazy. Sure is beautiful, though. this time it's sim it's simulation we're not even real we're in a video game I'm just kidding yeah dude we're all it's all simulation we're uh, on the <laughs> on the main character or, I mean you're the main character <laughs> your emotions share them with me they're yours I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with Pokemon like that. It's like, um, what's that movie? The Truman Show? When you feel, when you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Mmm, bewilderment. I 
How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Ah, uh, exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with the Soy's plants? It's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy Team? Life is complicated? Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Did I do it right? Did I pass the aptitude quest test? You obtained Miss Spirit's bloom. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Miss Spirit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, I can't catch him? Feels bad now. I know that Pokemon spoke to you, yet the words did not reach my ears. Your emotions are valid and you're free to go. Love your therapist. Oh, love your therapist. Gotcha. <laughs> it's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural. I encounter mystery. Next, onto Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. Alright. I love this, uh, I love how it's like one of the old regions, like I remember all these lakes and going through them in the old games. Looks like that worked out well, see? I must say, you know a lot about Hussoi, Bolo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or, more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from, where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebears once behold Almighty Sinaf. But I, I have never seen Almighty Sinaf for myself. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogita's home? Let's go back. I guess we gotta go to a different map now. Perfect, I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Oh, so she's like the commander now. I got you. Ah, me spirits bloom. So the legend is told it be tr told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kogita man. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with the red chain? This red chain. And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, where the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the red chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I what? So does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way? around? Or is it? Such a miss, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinath and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right, myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we get want 
All we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound, how confident success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient rooms. Oof. She just tore him apart, man. She's the one who's gonna leave me. He's the one going to be the therapist now. <laughs> His emotions are valid. a pretty cool spot. That's the Basque Legion. Where you all going? Slammed in the water. Bravery. That's a cool spot. We're gonna have to catch him with Basque Legion later. Here we are, Lake Acuity. Acuity? Acuity? You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by Pokemon Uxi. I mean, Uxi. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Took flight. The knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what stories say, anyway. Your phone arc, your arc phone is beeping. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what awaits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Whoa. Menacing Pokemon stands before you. Yow. Could, could that be the dreadful, bane, dreaded, baneful fox? That's a sick Pokemon. Now, I can't remember what he is. I'm gonna say dark and something. In which case, let's go with Empoleon. Because that's a pretty solid choice. I'm gonna try to catch him this time. Hopefully he doesn't struggle himself to death like the last one. Oh boy. 
Zoroark. Zoroark. Fish now. Get your job though. You try to catch them now. Let's um, do a thunder thing. Hope he doesn't die for it. The square can take a couple of hits. Get some rock though. Come on. Oh, so fast. It's like, okay, I'll catch him somewhere else, I guess. The Baneful Fox. It is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. You feel a mysterious presence. Keen. That spirit. Or no, you can see. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Dubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are there us? Tell me each one, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Yeah, I repeat it. Combi, Dubat, Unknown. Five. Magneton. Eight. So it's nine, right? Tell me each one one by one all at once. Answer me. I'm ready. I think. I try to answer this together as a series of numbers. Two, two. I don't know, what was it? One. Three, two, or something. Answer me true if answer you would. Okay, what was it again? I don't know that I don't know if I can get this. Six oh one three one. Wait, oh Zubat has no eyes. That's a screw me up. And Combi a six? See I, I never would have guessed that. Six oh one three one. Hmm. 
Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. You obtain Yuxi's claw. Group that you have completed the trial set by Yuxi, the being of knowledge that lives in Lake Acuity. Acuity? Acuity. Duh. Dude, I'm so stupid. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Goodness, that was tricky, but one only, but only one more to go now. Let's go. I assume all went well, Sin. I still must wonder, why don't they give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they meant they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are all, you are all. Perhaps you are right, but who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands? Yeah, I'm on second chat. Let's go check some. Though, on the other hand, what use would those hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides the mending the world. The red chains as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Mistress Kogita home? Kogita's home? Let's go back. Wonderful, then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insights to share with us. I think this will be it for me now. <clears throat> it's getting pretty late here now. And I want to save some for uh, tomorrow. So that's Yuxi's claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trial of these lakes Pokemon. These lake Pokemon. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilife Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems the Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants, you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Not if, if a Pokemon were truly to appear from the now, if, if a Pokemon were truly to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let his boy's great bass and stop you, Sin. Let's go get the great final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment, uh, moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've stopped the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, Make for the shrouded runes. So yeah, tomorrow we will we'll get the red chain and we'll go to the shrouded runes and we'll finish um, finish that part of the story up for sure. I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the stream, don't forget to leave a follow, and uh, you can check me out on YouTube too. I'll be uh, posting this playthrough up there eventually. I gotta edit it and everything too. So, um, don't forget to share, like, follow, subscribe, all those good things, and I'll see you guys next time.